Coach Dot, we need some energy around here. It's time to put your team to work. Yes, sir. Got it. Girls, it's go time. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas. Unquestionable. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. That is not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. I dare you not to go back to sleep. I dare you to get up, and I dare you to chase your dreams. It's possible you can win. Whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. Step toward it. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. Where are you going with your life? In my opinion, you're going to get out of something however much you're willing to put it. So to be a champion, it doesn't just take the hard work and dedication, but it also takes putting your whole heart into this one. Success comes down to two things, focus and effort. We control both of these things because success is a choice. It's when you decide that you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. That's when you'll be successful. Being a champion doesn't just come and find you, you have to go out and get it. So, show them how bad you want it and decide to be successful. You may hurt now, but remember, pain is only temporary. So don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Being a champion takes positive attitudes because you can't go onto a mat without positive attitudes because if you have a bad mindset, you are not going to accomplish what we know you can't accomplish. To be a champion, you must have the right set of mind and clear away all other distractions that might be dwelled up in your head for the time that it takes to get the job done. What I think it takes to become a champion is the hard work and dedication you put into every practice. Cheer is not an easy sport. It is 10% physical and 90% mental. 
You cannot expect every practice to go perfect. We will have our good and bad days. But it's when we come together as a team and family and push each other to our best ability. Win or lose, at the end of the day, we know we gave it our all. And that's all that matters. Before a competition, I do not allow negative thoughts into my mind. I make a mental decision to have no doubts about the routine and I visualize it going perfectly. In the lifeline, I squeeze my teammates' hand and I know they are there for me no matter what. Then, in that moment when we step on the mat, I clear my head and perform like it's my last time. Before I go on the mat, I put myself in a state of mind where I'm determined and focused and ready. And my favorite part is in the lifeline, I squeeze my partner's hand one last time, a big squeeze, and take a breath and walk on, and then my body does the rest. Before I step onto the blue mat, I visualize that perfect routine, that perfect effort. We have worked too hard and for too long to give anything less than our all because while we've been working for continuous hours, day in and day out, we've only got 2 minutes and 30 seconds to show the judges who deserve to be champion. Spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud, he opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking how? Everybody's choking now. The clocks run out, time's up, over, plow. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes rabbit. He choke, he's so mad, but he won't give up that easy. No, he won't have it. He knows his whole back to these ropes. It don't 